The first part of building your cob home will be the foundation. This is the first detail to consider for building any structure and the information presented in this video is relevant to just about any natural building you might construct. The foundation is a unified stable base which holds the weight of your walls, upper floors, roof and any live loads. It also distributes the weight of the house over a large area and prevents it from sinking into the ground, which can be catastrophic to a building's structure. You must build on solid dry ground. Foundations can be built using a variety of materials, such as stone, concrete, and gravel. A good foundation is vital to the life of your building, and it should be given the consideration it deserves as a critical piece of the structure. Foundations for cob buildings can include the rubble trench below ground and the above ground stem wall that holds the cob walls. The rubble trench below ground level works with the stem wall to further distribute the weight of the building evenly, to provide water drainage around the structure, and to anchor the building into the ground, which limits movement of the building's walls. The stem wall, which sits above ground on top of the rubble trench, extends up at least one and a half feet. The stem wall acts as protection for the walls and floors from water damage. It acts as a moisture break so that water does not seep up from the ground into the walls. Water runoff along the ground is not able to touch the cob portion of the walls, and water splashback from rainfall cannot reach that high. It's important for your foundation to protect your walls from water since your cob walls will deteriorate if they're soaked by it. Even in arid climates, it's not recommended to build the cob walls starting at the ground level as this shortens the life of the structure. Especially for massive earthen building, the importance of foundations cannot be overemphasized. Do your due diligence and plan for a solid, strong foundation. If your foundation is well designed, your building will enjoy a much longer life. From here on, we will be focusing on how to build a simple yet effective, continuous foundation consisting of a rubble trench and a stem wall. Remember that a rubble trench foundation is a trench located underneath the stem wall foundation that's filled in with drainage gravel. It acts as a drainage system and a load bearing pad for the building to rest on. Refer to the video on rubble trench foundations for more information and to get detailed instructions on how to construct one. The stem wall is the above ground portion of your foundation that acts as a moisture break between the ground and the walls. There are many material options for building stem walls. Here are some good options to consider. Concrete has been used for thousands of years by builders for good reasons. It's a great material for foundations. It has versatility, strength, and is widely available, uses natural ingredients, and it can be poured into almost any shape that you want. Many natural builders decide not to use concrete because of its high embodied energy. This means that it requires a high amount of energy and fossil fuels to be burned for its production, transport, and application. This is true, but don't rule out using concrete because of this. If the material is not abused, it has many benefits. A more environmentally friendly use of concrete is to build your stem wall with pieces of salvaged concrete, also known as urbanite. These pieces of urbanite can be stacked like stones. Stone is a good natural option if you're not interested in or unfamiliar with using concrete. Stone also has an appealing aesthetic look to it when put together, and it nicely complements the earthen tones and organic shapes of cob. Building with stone is a labor-intensive process and can take a long time. It also requires some skill, but you'll feel a great sense of accomplishment after you're done. Refer to the videos on stone foundations to learn how to build your own stone stem wall. Fired bricks or concrete blocks are another good option for stem wall construction. They are easily stackable and go up quickly. It's best to create two separate walls with a gap in between. Then fill the gap with gravel or an insulative material such as perlite or vermiculite. This method of stem wall construction comes from Super Adobe Earth Bag Construction. It consists of filling polypropylene bags with drainage gravel, tying the end of the bag shut, stacking the filled bags like bricks, and then tamping them down. It's economical, quick, and easy. You can also use salvaged tires to build your stem wall. Stagger the tires like you would build with bricks, building layer by layer. Each tire is filled with dirt, and then the dirt is pounded with a sledgehammer into the tire cavity. This creates a massive and strong stem wall. 